Hey guys, Stag here. So this is my painting, The Oracle. It's actually kind of a repainting of an older one I did a long time ago, also called The Oracle. Um, featured a three-eye cat with a crystal ball, pretty much. Um, I wanted to revisit the concept again, and initially I had done this as a finished sketch for the Bad Apple Artist Collective. The theme was Bohemian Dream. I ended up changing her outfit quite a bit from what I did um, for the Bad Apple auction because it was more bohemian anyway, but I really couldn't think of anything for it because when I think bohemian, I don't really think the textbook definition, which I believe was like artist or something, like not necessarily the norm. So like I, I just think the clothing kind of gypsy-ish and then I just kind of wound up here. But I changed her outfit a little bit for the painting, and I ended up really liking this one. Um, as you can tell, it takes so many layers to make background, or even the characters, but with the background, it's just, it's nuts. One of these days, I'm going to go through a painting and count up all the layers I do, and these misty forests are kind of really bad for that too, because I'm slowly building up and the dark tones and the, the the light tones layer after layer on top of the trees and then I'll go back and darken the trees and then what was once dark trees end up being pretty light kind of in the background it's just kind of like non-stop work sometimes throughout the painting but I decided since this was kind of mystical to give it crystals and this, once again, my coloring book, this ended up being the Halloween coloring book cover. I don't feel like it, it it's the best choice, but it was a painting that I was working on that happened to be in the coloring book. Because I wanted... The coloring book kind of has some, some witches, some mystical, and then it has a traditional Halloween, like there's a girl dressed up in a costume and she's in front of a house kind of run down and she has an apple and I remember on Halloween going trick-or-treating and there's always that one house you get fruit or something that just clearly is not candy so I ended up doing like a sister page to that where it's the same girl but she's wearing a hoodie now over her skeleton costume but she still has the mask and she has a cat with her but she's holding a carton of eggs and there's eggs all over the ground in front of this house and the mailbox is smashed because she's holding a bat. I thought it was fun. Whimsical. But anyway, um, I had so much fun with that coloring book thinking up ideas and I kind of went into a dark mode where I just want to do dark and I guess I go through these levels of art where I'm, I'm doing more darker stuff all of a sudden, and I might go back to whimsical, and I'm really more or less enjoying the darker palettes, period. I felt like I didn't have a lot of that because I did a lot of bright colors, even though they were kind of muted with a lot of browns, because people always make mention of my vintage palettes, where everything's kind of just kind of old looking, if that makes sense, because I use a ton of brown. I also haven't really been using black um, with the darker palettes at all. I'm using a... I have to look at the paint because I keep forgetting. It's burnt umber instead of black. And I like the effect because it's, it's dark but it's not too dark. Occasionally I might add a little bit of black in there. And there I go, repainting the forest again. Apparently I didn't like the way it came out. Which, I'm, I don't know, if you watched some of my last videos, I have a tendency to uh, repaint the background many, many, many times. Because it just, it doesn't sparkle, I guess, could be a term. But I really wanted that kind of mystical, misty forest background for this one. The original painting I had done, um... I don't even know how long ago, maybe two years now, uh, had kind of like 
I wanted kind of like a galaxy starry background and it was looking good like throughout it until I got up to the end and ended up just staying with that background for some reason but I didn't like it as much as I should have and I do apologize because I actually lost some footage of this um, every now and again when I hit the record button I don't really hit the record button I think because at some point her face almost just changes and it was clear that I painted in between and it didn't show it and I'm sorry but I have still been working on tons of paintings I actually have a series that I started up which I haven't released any I've just been posting uh, if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen them I've been posting them about um it's aliens if you're if you guys haven't heard or watched the last video I might have talked about it in there it's been a little bit but I'm currently working on a third one I'm probably gonna start the fourth one next week but I, I figured I may as well just release them in one big batch one big shop update or whatnot all together because why not um and then I'll probably be starting some unicorn stuff since the next coloring book is supposed to be unicorns I'll need some new unicorn art to pick what I want for the cover but before I release those I have a couple more pictures from the Halloween coloring book I ended up painting as well um, which would have gotten probably better as the cover maybe like color wise this, this went great because uh, I've been going through the coloring books and I have stripes on the spine of the books and I've been making a rainbow and Halloween was actually purple so it kind of went I guess because it's the end of the rainbow even though there's only six books so far I don't really count indigo and violet because to me they feel really similar between blue and purple like I don't, I don't know like it just never really made sense to me so expect some more spooky paintings here soon on um, uh, thank you guys for watching you can follow me on all the social media you can find the links down below or at the end of the video um, I post updates quite frequently on Instagram which is Right now, I guess my favorite social media, because it's just pictures, I don't have to type that much, but I'm also on Tumblr and Facebook. And I also have a Patreon. You can get monthly uh, packages filled with art, normally based off of uh, the month you, you, uh, words, oh, they, they lose me, but pretty much based off the month that you uh, subscribe for. So whatever I was working on then. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, you can find the prints of this in my shop. The original is sold. But have a great day. And thank you for watching.